Hi, I'm Mr. Emmer, Mr. McGregor, and I'm, I'm the assistant athletic trainer here. Uh, right now, I'm the inner head athletic trainer while Mrs. Shout not to have all maternity leave, which will be back there for Thanksgiving. Um, and I'm one of the athletic trainers here, so I deal with sports injuries, um, preventing injuries within sports, and then rehab following sports and like the evaluation of injuries. So everything from sprained ankles to torn ACLs, um, and rehabbing things like shin splints to recovering from ACL repair. So a normal day for me, there's always like a little bit of variance. Um, like Wednesdays, I'm usually in earlier, but usually I'm in around like 11, 30, 12 o'clock, not around 7 o'clock after practices. It does kind of change for season in the winter time. We sometimes have those early morning practices and late night practices, so we sort of kind of shuffle around there. Um, but normally I'm, uh, I come in a bit earlier in the day if I don't have any meetings. It's taking care of a lot of the notes from the day before for uh, injury evaluations and rehab we carry out that we've got documentation of everything that we do. Uh, sometimes I'll have to continue in order to pay three periods and carry out three habits if you're able to do it. Uh, and then once classes are over, uh, the practice day kind of starts. I'll we'll be coming to the room, getting picked up, getting evaluated for injuries, uh, going to the rehab. And then either me or Mrs. Lyon and Mrs. Nathan Crater will be outside covering practices at the end of the day. Uh, and then Saturday, the third week, eight days for us to cover all the different games that we're going to go to. Uh, managing all the different teams at one time, it can only be a bit of a trick. Uh, but trying to give priority to the in-season athletes first and foremost. Uh, that way they can get enough practice and kind of get along with their nice and they are kind of priority to the in-season. Uh, I mean, giving priority to the team is definitely pretty important. Um, and kind of knowing what teams are going to be a little more injury heavy. Not that we're going to ignore certain teams, but some teams, like football, might be a little bit more injury prone than golf would be. Uh, so knowing kind of like, uh, in that case, we've got like this line primarily with football during the fall. So help with the other sports too, but uh, keeping somebody with them in practice is just a high contact sport. Well, on average day, uh, I mean, busy, nonstop. Just because, uh, I mean, coming off a weekend like today, it's, it's totally nonstop because I like come into piles and piles of uniforms, which uh, with only having two washers, two dryers, takes me full day, Monday, and then. Tuesday, and that's turning around Tuesday to get ready to get a full slate of games on Wednesday. So it's just a, uh, you know, busy each day doing the same things kind of over and over. We're behind me football. <laughs> just because, you know, we have the, uh, you know, there's 50 guys on the team, so it's like 50 uniforms, most of them are pretty dirty, so that takes up a lot of time. And then just, uh, also it was a field setup, so I'll go out there for our own game and set up a football field. So it's all, all time consuming, so football, yeah. Uh, the most common, uh, I guess, uh, you know, grass stains pretty common because, I mean, really, you know, we have the turf, so there's no grass stains there, but all of our teams, JVs and stuff, they're all on grass. Uh, you know, our varsity's up on the pitch, and, and when that, uh, that grass gets on the white uniforms, that's, that's the challenge there. It's time-consuming, and, and it's hard to get out of there. 